We haven't seen Mephisto in the MCU yet, but with a number of references, his appearance is almost inevitable. And it looks like after all this wait, Marvel is finally setting up the villain for the MCU. So you must have many questions regarding his origin and how the villain will fit into the universe. Well, lucky for you, we've got all the answers, so keep watching. First up, MCU has hinted toward Mephisto many times. Mephisto has yet to appear in the MCU, but the character has been mentioned countless times in the franchise's 29 films and 8 Disney Plus shows. At the same time, the wicked villain has been hinted at most frequently in MCU Phase 4. Mephisto's origins as a Marvel Easter egg date back to the very first phase, and with genuine reports regarding the villain's casting already circulating, the reward to all these hints appears to be closer than ever. In the comics, Mephisto is essentially Marvel's version of Satan, possessing all the devil's abilities, including immortality, superhuman strength, manipulation, and many magical powers. He has been an adversary to practically every Marvel character, appearing in the comic editions of Avengers Infinity War, Thunderbolts, and Avengers Secret Wars. While they have not confirmed the character exists in the MCU, Mephisto's presence has always been known with several Easter eggs and references setting up Marvel's Prince of Darkness. So here's every time the franchise has hinted at the villain. Let's talk about the Tesseract file in the Avengers. Mephisto's first appearance in the MCU dates back to Phase 1's final film. The Avengers. We all know how important the Tesseract is to the Avengers narrative. At one point in the movie, we're all shown a shield file on the powerful cosmic cube, and Mephisto's name can be seen written under an image of the object. But the page's formatting conceals the context of the reference, and a character's hand covers parts of the text. Sure, it was a small tease, but it's still extremely important. Coming up, all the devil imagery in WandaVision. While Mephisto does not appear in WandaVision, one of the most important fan theories at the time, suggested that he would be the show's central villain. WandaVision has numerous references to Mephisto, the most obvious of which is the show's excess of devil imagery. During the show, references to 666, often linked with Satan in Christianity, can be found including on a toaster in Episode 1. Hex, in which Westview is contained, is six-sided, adding to the theme. The show also has various literary references to demons. The Coronet Theater in Westview is named after an Andrew Marvell poem about a man attempting to build a crown for Christ, and the man ends up running upon the biblical serpent among some flowers. Another literary connection is Agatha Harkness's rabbit, Scratchy, which is a reference to Old Scratch. The Devil's Nickname, popularized by Washington Irving's 1824 short story, The Devil, and Tom Walker, Mephisto is mentioned multiple times in WandaVision, including when Dottie says, The Devil is in the details in Episode 2, and Quicksilver refers to Wanda's offspring as Demon Spawn in Episode 6. Moving on, the stained glass window in Loki. Loki Season 1 teases Mephisto with more devil imagery, this time set in 16th century France. In Episode 2, the Time Variance Authority visits a classical French church with a stained glass window depicting a distinct image of the devil. Because the window hints at Sylvie and Loki disrupting the multiverse, it leads viewers to believe Mephisto would appear in the show. Also, the window's image of a horned, red-skinned creature looks nothing like Loki or Sylvie, but it looks perfectly like Mephisto. The origin of Loki's demon window is never explained, although the image's aesthetic must be based on something. Loki may imply that Mephisto has long been in the MCU, with numerous demon legends from various religions drawing inspiration from the villain. Let's talk about Wanda's pregnancy in WandaVision. Wanda becomes pregnant and has two children, Billy and Tommy Maximoff, who go by the superheroes Wiccan and Speed. The twins are all a part of the Hex's illusion, having been magically created by Wanda. While the twins' birth is mainly explained by by magic, there is plenty of room for the two characters' origins to be expanded. Without the Hex, Billy and Tommy do exist on Earth-838, implying that something else is at work. Now this is where Mephisto steps in. Billy and Tommy are introduced in the comics when Wanda borrows Mephisto's life essence to give the twins souls. But Mephisto eventually returns for the children, resulting in a story of Wanda coping with the loss of her children. While the initial half of this story has already been told, there is still an opportunity for the villain to visit the MCU and disclosed that he was involved in the creation of Billy and Tommy, filling in the blanks of their hazy MCU backgrounds. This popular theory has since been dismissed because it did not happen. But as Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness reveals, Wanda's children will be her primary motivation, sparking new Mephisto fan theories that Wanda may someday turn to him to get her children back. Although Mephisto's role in Wanda's pregnancy has not been confirmed, WandaVision keeps the potential of his involvement with Billy and Tommy 
open. Now, Jake, the goat in She-Hulk. So far, the MCU's final Mephisto hint is in She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, Episode 4, where an intoxicated magic show attendee named Madison is transported to one of Marvel's Hell Dimensions. She tells Wong about what happened to her while she was in Hell, mentioning a goat demon named Jake. Because the full identity of this goat demon remains unknown by the end of the series, this She-Hulk Attorney at Law Easter egg could be more than simply a reference. People commonly link goats with the devil, and while there is no demon called Jake in Marvel Comics, there is one named Jack, and that demon is Mephisto. Not to forget, Mephisto can serve as a replacement for Thanos, and some other details. Mephisto is a demon that rules over the pocket universe known as Hell, or Hades. His origins are linked to the creation of the Infinity Stones in the comics, and Stan Lee, John Buscema, and Jerry Robinson created him in 1968. His purpose is to fill his hell-like dimension with human souls, to strengthen his demon army. The character began as a Silver Surfer villain, but grew to become one of the Ghost Rider's main antagonists. In the comics, he plays important roles in the lives of Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Scarlet Witch, and several other Marvel characters. And with the MCU looking for a Thanos replacement in Phase 4, Mephisto is a strong candidate to rule over the universe. Coming up, She-Hulk's Demon Dimension might finally mean Mephisto is coming. The Demon Dimension in She-Hulk Episode 4 appears to be the start of Marvel's true Mephisto setup. The episode's plot centers around a low-level sorcerer who uses spells he doesn't completely comprehend. This finally leads to him accidentally opening a portal to another reality from which demon creatures appear. While Mephisto's demons do not match those depicted in She-Hulk, transforming them into hideous beasts could be Marvel's way of providing him with cannon fodder to keep several superheroes busy in the event of a future war. They barely depicted the universe from which the demons come in She-Hulk Episode 4, but the underworld appearance and fiery orange color could hint at Marvel's portrayal of hell. If this is the case, Mephisto could be present during these events. Madison deals with a demon disguised as a talking goat named Jake. The goat demon and Madison agreed for her to return to Earth if he could one day reap her soul and the souls of all she loves. That's exactly what Mephisto would do. And with his shape-shifting skills, he might have presented himself to Madison as a talking goat to appear less of a threat. This would imply that She-Hulk set up Mephisto's actual MCU debut in the future. Finally, where can Mephisto appear in MCU Phase 5? If She-Hulk's Mephisto setup is real, he has a better chance of coming to MCU Phase 5. Marvel may use Mephisto in Blade to expand the shared universe's supernatural corner. The standalone film will help introduce vampires to the MCU, but it also may include other supernatural characters, themes, and ideas. Because Blade and Mephisto have no comic history, incorporating the demon in Blade might not be part of the MCU's Midnight Sun scenario. There is also the possibility of Mephisto landing a part in Agatha, Coven of Chaos. Following all the rumors linking Agatha Harkness to Mephisto in WandaVision, the spinoff would be the ideal place to include him in Phase 5. The plot of the Disney Plus series is still mostly unknown, but a focus on sorcery and witchcraft is expected. Including Mephisto may be a way for Marvel to complete Agatha's story and give her an encounter with a villain powerful and evil enough to force her to become more of an anti-hero. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on Mephisto? Let us know in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.